let's see a question from differential equation so we need to solve this question it is dy by dx equals to sine of x plus y plus cos of x plus y so how can we proceed with this question it's a different question uh, so you need to uh, solve it once uh, what we can do is we can uh, take x plus y as t now what will happen when we'll take x plus y as t this will become sine t plus cos t moreover we can differentiate this both side with respect to x so this will become 1 plus dy by dx equals to dt by dx so we can write dy by dx as dt by dx minus of 1 so coming back to the original equation we can replace this uh, dy by dx as dt by dx minus of 1 and rhs will now become sin t plus cos of t i can send this one also to that side so dt by dx will become 1 plus sin t plus cos t now i can rewrite this now i will use variable separable so dt divided by 1 plus sin t plus cos t is equal to dx okay now if you integrate this both sides uh, this side uh, already i have dt so no need to write this again so my rhs is just this i have bought this dx so dx okay now moving ahead here if you look at the lhs i will use uh, one substitution what i can do is one upon one plus sine t i can write this as two tan t by two divided by one plus tan square t by two this is a formula now cos t again i can write this as 1 minus tan square t by 2 divided by 1 plus tan square t by 2 okay fine i have a dt here and rhs now i can write integral of dx is simply x in the, the last step i will uh, bother about the constant of integration so this is integral of dt divided by uh, i can take lcm so 1 plus tan square t by 2 plus 2 tan t by 2 plus 1 minus tan square t by 2 okay so this tan square t by 2 can be easily cancelled 1 plus 1 is 2 so i am getting uh, dt here divided by 2 plus 2 tan t by 2 so i can write that as 1 plus tan t by 2 and half i am letting that here now this denominator which was there in the last step which i forgot to write 1 plus tan square t by 2 this will become secant square t by 2 and this will go to the numerator so in numerator i can uh, get an extra secant 
square t by 2 also and then the dt. Now I will use one substitution if I take 1 plus 10 t by 2 as u. So derivative now I will differentiate both sides with respect to t. So derivative of 1 is 0 that of 10 t by 2 will be first of 10 so secant square t by 2 then you will go inside you will get this t by 2 derivative of t by 2 is simply half dt equals to du so you are getting this half you are getting this secant square t by 2 dt that can easily be replaced by du and in denominator you have your entire u so this integration will give you log u plus a constant c. Okay. Now please don't forget to write this equals to x also. Okay. So log u plus c. So I was uh, solving this question. So LHS I got log u. So log u was my 1 plus 10 t by 2 okay equals to x plus a constant see I am writing constant only once on the RHS okay now log because again t was my substitution so I can replace that so 10 t was x plus y so x plus y divided by equals to x plus a constant c. So this is uh, my final answer which I will write now. It is log 1 plus 10 x plus y by 2 equals to x plus a constant. So again a basic question. Uh, first of all, we assume this x plus y as t differentiated both sides. Then uh, we use this substitution which uh, I will write once again so that you don't have any confusion. So, what was uh, my substitution? Basically, my substitution was wherever I saw tan t Sorry. Wherever I saw sin t, I replace that by 2 tan t by 2 divided by 1 plus tan square t by 2 and when I saw cos t I replace that by 1 minus tan square t by 2 divided by 1 plus tan square t by 2 this uh, was uh, my substitution and then I finally, uh, finally simplified took LCM this was uh, another substitution which I did after which I got this log u plus c. This was my constant of integration and I hope you understood this question. Thanks and have a nice day.